honestly, some of it, the best one or two dollars, whichever one it is that I never spent because someone gave it to me. Never mind. Welcome back to my Where Are They Now series where we revisit favorites videos from a couple of years ago to see if I'm still loving these products or if they've been replaced with something else instead. We're talking about April of 2016 today. There are a lot of affordable things in here, a couple high-end things sprinkled in as well, but I am working on an April favorites video for this year and it will all be drugstore. If you are new, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If you love makeup and cheap shit, you are in the right place. Go ahead and hit subscribe so we can see you here next time too. First up on the list today is a pencil sharpener from Essence. Now, I love the sharpener. I've actually been thinking about it a lot recently because I have a video I'm planning that I think this is gonna be in because this is the best pencil sharpener I've ever used and it is $1, $2, it is really cheap. For the longest time, I would not buy pencils, like lip liners, eyeliners, that type of thing that needed to be sharpened because no matter what sharpener I tried to use, they would just chew them up or even worse, they would work, but then the pencil would end up really, really long and skinny. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Have you ever had a sharpener that just makes them like super, super long and pointy? This one doesn't do that. It's perfect. It has two different sizes, so you can fit like a larger jumbo pencil in here as well. Highly recommend. The NYC Smooth Skin Loose Face Powder. I do still have this. Well, I have like a repurchased version of this one. It is not what I reach for as much anymore because as you know, I am obsessed with my Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder. That one is like my new go-to every single day. The only thing I put on my face. This one I love for a long time because I feel like it's really brightening under the eyes without being too cakey and heavy. There are two problems with this. First problem is that it can be a little bit too brightening just a little bit, like it can get a little bit of a white cast under my eyes if I'm not careful with it. But the main problem is that you just can't buy it anymore. They do not sell NYC in the States anywhere that I can find. Do you guys know of somewhere you can get it? I think somebody said maybe they still found it at Dwayne Reed or something, but we don't have those around here. I mean, I don't know. Is it gone? Is it gone? Can you buy it in other countries? Which would be funny because it's called NYC, but yes, you can't really get this anymore. I do need to go ahead and use it up, um, but I recommend the Maybelline instead on my eyes today is this. It is an eyeshadow for Makeup Geek. It is one of their duochrome shadows in Phantom, and I love this eyeshadow. I do not reach for it enough. I have, I think, about 10 Makeup Geek eyeshadows, however many are in here. Yes, 10, um, that I bought when Makeup Geek was doing a sale. Like, it was like a bundle you could buy over the holidays. I think it must have been the holidays of 2015 because it was before I filmed the 2016 video, and I don't reach for any of these, really, except for this one. It is such a pretty like kind of lavender with a gold shift to it, but it just ends up looking really glowy and beautiful. I love this. I do not reach for it enough, but I do really like it when I do. I'm wearing it today with a couple of shadows from my Lorac Pro 2 palette um, that I felt like paired really nicely with this one. But yes, I feel like Makeup Geek is a brand that everybody used to talk about constantly. And now I only hear about Makeup Geek when they come out with like a collab with an influencer. Um, I did hear today, the day I'm filming this, that you can now buy Makeup Geek products at Target. So that's kind of exciting. Um, I'd love to try more from them because these are the only things I've ever tried. But yes, that one eyeshadow is gorgeous. The Milani Moisture Matte Lipstick in Diva. Now, I used to have a bunch of those. I think I even did a lip swatch and review video on those back in the day, a couple years ago. I don't have any of them anymore. I liked them. I thought they were nice. I liked the matte formula. I never really got into the regular formula of Milani lipsticks just because I wasn't a fan of the smell. But the matte ones were matte while still being a little bit creamy and comfortable to wear. If I'm remembering correctly, Diva was like a bright fuchsia pink. And I was looking through my collection, I feel like, especially after my most recent declutter, I don't really have any of those shades anymore. I used to be into that like super, super bright, hot pink color, and now I'm just not, just at the moment. It's not my thing. I'm sure I'll be, I'll be into it again at some point. Um, something I found that's like not really the same, but somewhat similar, is this Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Color in Crush. When I just want something really bright and pink, this is kind of what I reach for. It's definitely still a bold color because it's just like a different type of color, even though it's not quite as bright. Um, I don't have anything else in my collection that I think really compares. I do like this one and you guys know I love this formula. This one in particular, you have to build up a couple layers, but then it does look really nice. Something I talked about in my most recent video, so I do still like it, is from The Body Shop. The only thing I've ever owned from The Body Shop and it is their Honey Bronzer in 01. Now, after I made my last video, which was what I packed to go to the beach, 
I was looking at the Body Shop website and this was on sale for $5. Okay, now this is normally 20 bucks. So if you were interested in this, they must be discontinuing it or something. It's definitely worth picking up. If you have super fair skin like I am, the shade 01 is perfect. I have it on today, but like you can't really tell, like it just doesn't get overboard too easily. It doesn't turn orange on me. Absolutely beautiful, still love it. The Stila All Over Shimmer Duo in Kitten. That was a highlighter, it had like two shades. I'm thinking that I used to like kind of swirl them together or something like that. I have no additional memory of that. I don't remember what it looked like on my face. I remember I liked it. I feel like my friend Beth sent that to me when she went cruelty free with her makeup and then Stila went cruelty free as well and I sent some stuff back to her and did I send that back to her? I honestly forgot it existed until I was going through this video. So that should tell you something. Another highlighter from Wet n Wild. This one was limited edition and it was Where the Dreamers Go and I loved that highlighter. It was like a bunch of kind of like pastel-y looking colors and it was nice and cool toned and it was glittery. It was a glittery highlighter, but for some reason I just loved that highlighter. I did finally get rid of it because it was limited edition and I just don't like having limited edition shit. It's not the best highlighter that Wet n Wild has ever made, but I don't know. I just, I really loved that one a lot. And then finally were some face wipes, the Up and Up Sensitive Skin Facial Cleansing Wipes. I don't remember, I don't use face wipes. I can't tell you the last time I used face wipes. Apparently two years ago I did. Nowadays I just love using balms and oil cleansers. Um, if I really need a makeup remover, I will use a micellar water. I will say that face wipes come in handy when you're making videos because you get shit all over yourself and you know, I just end up using like tissues to try to wipe it off and it's not quite as effective, but I also think they're kind of a waste. I don't know, I don't like all the trash. I don't find myself using them, so I don't have anything to recommend. So those are just a few of the things I was loving a couple of years ago. Do you have anything in your collection currently that you were loving, that you know you were using two years ago? Let me know those recommendations down below because those are things that are definitely worth checking out. And I will see you guys here very soon. Bye. And because I know some of you guys will ask, yes, I am wearing the llama today. He definitely wanted to come out and say hi to you guys. I love my llama.